The polycold closed loop gas chiller, 2XCL. All the controls here are on the front. Got your emergency shut off here. This unit has three circuit breakers for the different systems. There's two different systems on the uh, accessible from the front. Um, the closed loop refrigeration part is up here. Main uh, condenser unit and the system is down there. Initially start, your power leads up. You should get a line indication like this. It should be a solid yellow light. Uh, if you do not have the proper voltage, this will blink. If you have the proper voltage, it will, it will stay steady. However, you still have to check the display here. The display will go through messages. Uh, one of them is phase sequence. So if your phase is an error out of sequence um, and there's an error, it'll tell you that. You then have to swap the phases to correct it and you will get a, uh, the error message will go away and that'll be all happy. Um, so here we have our, our line, our, our refrigeration and gas discharge gauges. An auto fill control is here. I've already, those are on down there. I'll turn this on. This can, uh, depending on how long it's been off for, can take up to two minutes. I've seen with this particular system of about uh, 50 to seconds to a minute, uh, but I've had it on recently. It shouldn't take that long. Turn it on. And that one came right on, and you can see that our refrigeration pressure goes down. And that's what it should be doing. Since we do not have the closed loop connections for this, we can't test it that way. Uh, so all I can show is that it will go into run, and refrigeration circuits will go on. go around to the back okay. okay as I stated before this uh, requires uh, 480 volts three phase and the sequencing is important uh, your coolant supply and return is here for your closed loop gas uh, and here on our rear panel access panel you have your inner gas and it states on here 70 to 90 psi if there was a remote involved, you would have it hooked here, but they supplied this remote uh, jumper so that you don't have to have one. Your gas venting, when you wanted to uh, relieve the gas pressure in the system, is here. Comes with a wrench to be able to, to, do, uh, to do that venting. It also has an emergency shutoff loop. This would normally get connected directly to your uh, piece of equipment that you're chilling so that it would, if that had a failure, it would shut off this system also. It's hooked in series. I have it jumpered here, uh, pin one, which is at one o'clock to one o'clock, uh, so to eliminate the need for an external device. Also requires a, a water cooling system for the condenser. Uh, at the minimum, it has to be 10 gallons per minute at 30 degrees centigrade. Uh, there's a table in the manual which will be included with this machine uh, and that table shows you at uh, if you're cooling it at a lower temperature you don't need quite as much uh, water flow.